Welcome back to my channel. I feel like this is the only time I can sing without anyone telling me to stop. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. It's Jess here and if you don't know me, then I am, I'm a professional makeup artist. I, what else do I do? Oh, I think that's about it. Do gym workout stuff like that on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, you should totally follow me. Here is my page. See you there. <laughs> We're doing this Selena Gomez look right here. And I don't know about you, but I feel like her eyebrows and eyes look really pulled back. And I'm assuming it's because her hair is up um, because they look like they really like, <laughs> Scarlett wanted to answer that one for me. <laughs> So yeah, like really pulled back, but I'm thinking like, cause I want to be fancy. I want to use the tape and play with that because I feel like her eyebrows look so straight. My eyebrows are like, they need lifting. So we're going to go ahead. <laughs> so first things first, I'm going in with Tatcha Silk Canvas. So I'm just going to prime my eyes really quickly. Oh my god. So I'm just going in with that Illa Mascua glitter. Um, just looks like she's got that mainly in her center. It's mainly, I think, in her inner corners. Now it looks like she's got, like, when I say the slightest uh, amount of color, I really mean it. So I'm just going in with a bronzer. And I'm just gonna very lightly like blend that up here. Just so it gives us a bit more color than just if we were to have that glitter. Put that on my crease area. Very messily just because I feel like she's got a little bit of like a bronzy tinge to her eye. Big fluffy brush. I'm not really focusing anything on the outer corner because we are going to put a wing and it looks like her wing's pretty thick, which is good because I haven't really done a thick wing in a while. So, so it looks like Selena Gomez's wing is quite thick, very cat eye like. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, her wing isn't as well connected. I usually like to connect my wings from my lower lash line to my lash line, but it's not connected. So she's really got that wing shape. So how I like to do that is I like to look straight into a mirror, get my brush. You can open your eye a bit wider if that helps. Sometimes I do it. And then I kind of like to see where my line is. And then I just wing it out. Okay, so liner's done. I'm just gonna go in now with this Anastasia, um, but I was gonna say Anastasia primer, really just, wow. Scala has got me tripping. So I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, prism palette and I'm taking this black shade here very lightly going to buff that out a little so I'm taking now these Fox Mink Adele lashes now these lashes are not strip lashes And now I'm just going in with the Model Rock Lash Curler. Now this is going to be like your best friend for these kind of lashes. So... <laughs> so for foundation, I am going in with the L'Oreal True Match. Um, like I mentioned in one of my last videos, this is actually one of my favorite foundations. I just don't like to use it that much because I don't know when I'm going to go back to America. So... So, like I always usually do, oh. I'm taking my Real Techniques brush and we're just going to blend it all that. Now, for concealer, I am going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. 
and I'm taking medium honey and fair light. I'm gonna use both. The light concealer, I'm just putting two dots. Now the reason I use the light concealer is because that br that's gonna brighten what we are doing. So the darker concealer is pretty much like my skin tone, so that's just gonna cancel out that gorgeous pink shade we have. And then the lighter one will brighten. And I mean, you guys know my holy grail brush, the Anne Hazarati. So when I have kind of, um, look at my finger. Can you tell that it has concealer on it? Oh, which one do you think has concealer on it? Oh my gosh. Mini, 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 mode. Something, something. Burn up bulb. Anyway, I'm using this other Anne Hazarati brush. This is one of my favorite brushes, the FO5. And I like to, after I've placed my concealer, I personally like to go back in and I buff it out and in. So for brows, I am gonna keep them quite natural. It's so funny when I lift that brow, it looks even weirder. Such a bad habit that, oh, I did it again. I feel like when I take photos, do you guys do this too when you take photos and you lift one brow? Oh my gosh, it frustrates me so much, but at the same time, I feel like it makes the biggest difference. I'm just gonna very lightly do my brows and I'm using the Brow Wiz and this is in soft brown. So I'm actually taking a big Morphe brush and I'm taking my Dior palette and I'm going in mainly with that lighter shade, a little bit in with that, but mainly that. And I'm literally just gonna apply the slightest amount because it doesn't really look like she has much going on. So I'm actually now going back in with the Anastasia palette and I know this is crazy, but I'm taking a little bit of Eden and Satra. Satra. I'm a little silly, but I'm taking them both. And I'm actually just gonna place this shade right where my temples kind of are. So I just had a look now and it looks like she's got like the slightest amount of pink. I'm just taking this It's Cosmetic brush. We're just gonna start by dabbing it out. Oh my gosh. That is so bad, but I could like full on do my accent like that for a whole video because it's so addictive <laughs> to talk like that. Like, do you ever talk in an accent and you're like, I could do this, I could do this forever, I could do this forever. Now, I mean, if you know me, you know me. <laughs> I'm taking my Illa Mascua powder and this is in FPH 200. So are you gonna keep it 100 or 200? I'm gonna go with 100. Now that's on, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Perfecting Powder in O2. And then with this, I'm dabbing that all kind of along the skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the wings liner in my waterline. So I'm taking the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Lips, Lip Pencil sorry, in Wonderland. So this is like one of my favorite threads. And And then I'm going in with the ColourPop, like the I Love Sarah X ColourPop um, Ariba lipstick. And this is a matte lip shade. All right, everyone, this is the final result. Do you guys think I'm a good voice? <laughs> or should I just stick to makeup? All right, babes. I guess I should just stick to makeup then. <laughs> she answered for you guys. <laughs> so this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought this was like a really quick, easy look. I just kind of wanted to spice it up with the face tapes. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I think this is like such a quick, easy look to recreate. My little stupid 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you recreate it, make sure to tag me because I will repost you. And if you have any other celebrity makeup looks you want me to recreate, make sure to either tag me or list them in the... Oh, I put like so much jewelry on. <laughs> I'll list them in the comments below and I definitely will get back to you. Thank you guys again. I hope you have a lovely day. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.